Bună ziua! Bine ați venit! To living in Romania 35. And we start with the iconic Farmer Plus, uh, Farmacia. And today we're going to have a look at uh, an area we touched on last time, which was uh, when we were in uh, Siloz. We're on the border here of Siloz and Sarar. And I'm walking to Strada Sarar. This is Strada España, which we saw borders um, Sarar which is a kind of square, small area of uh, Craiova. Uh, it's bordered by Cala Bucharest here, one of the main streets into Craiova. Uh, the Strada Sarar, which we're walking to at the moment, and the uh, southern border if you like is Strada Imperator Traian uh, which we also walked along so it's a kind of adjoining area to Silos Silos is one of the most sought after areas uh, Sala less so just blocks effectively but as uh, Flaubert said let's try to beautify the ordinary and here we have uh, Teatro Colibri Theatre for children. Closed at the moment, open mainly in the summer, I think. But we're heading along past the Facultate de Mecanica, Faculty of Mechanics, which is on the other side of Calabucuresh, uh, so is strictly speaking in Rovine. Okay. And I've got some, I've had some interesting comments and some interesting questions on the vlog, which I'll try to respond to as we walk around Sarar. Uh, my friend uh, Viorel uh, made some quite justified comments on uh, about Silos. He said, well, you've only been in Romania for three years. You make a lot of generalizations. It's true. These are my impressions. Uh, it's a subjective vlog. It's my impressions of living in Romania. It's not necessarily correct. And I always say, if there are corrections to be made, please tell me and I'll, I'll address those in comments. Um, but it's my experience of what, uh, what I've seen so far what I've experienced while living in Romania and I think I've committed to living in Romania um, in two years time I have the opportunity to take Romanian citizenship which I very much hope to do although there is a crazy test uh, which involves incredible knowledge of geography, culture, constitution, politics and of course language so I have two language lessons a week in Romanian um, my days here pan out uh, I try to read for two hours a day uh, I write for two hours a day and I learn Romanian for two hours a day and the rest of the time I try to do my uh, uh, my 10,000 steps as I will do today easily no problem Okay, over we go. It's on green. So yeah, they're subjective opinions. I'm not being objective. I don't have all the answers. It's just my impressions of a British guy living in Romania of Europe. So we have as many idiots in the UK as you have in Romania. So please don't uh, be offended when I talk about the size of your TV sets or the how new your car is uh, anyway this used to be I think it used to be a bread factory a big bakery biggest bakery in Cryova and it's being demolished for flats as I said uh, in a previous video there's a huge demand for accommodation 
and uh, what we call uh, Immobilier in uh, Priova, and that's, uh, that's certainly one of them. Okay, we're coming to <coughs> Cartier Sarari Lord, the area of Sarat, um, and here's a hospital. And this was our designated COVID hospital uh, during the during the infection, the worst periods. It hasn't gone away. If you think it's gone away, you're wrong. Uh, Clinique de Bol Infectiosi. This was designated as the quarantine zone if you had COVID and they had a tent in the garden and you would be let in and let out uh, once you've been tested. So uh, there's another hospital down here which I'll show you. Across the road we have Lidl and uh, we're going to head down Strada Sarar see what we can see. <coughs> well, I shouldn't really be coughing around the hospital, should I? Okay. We'll head down here. Here we go. We're going to do a little tour of the outskirts of Sarad. Oh. Uh, there's not much in the middle except for a load of blocks. And I think there's a school. It might be Henry Kwanda school. I'm not sure. I'll check. I'll check that later. If I got that wrong, I'll correct it. So one hospital here for diseases of the lungs, effectively. Uh, pneumonia. Down here is the route to Kaufland. And the pipes at the end indicate the end of Sarar. Uh, you can continue through there to Electro Putere Mall, which used to be a big factory making trains, is now a mall. Spital Philanthropia. It's a big hospital here, new hospital. You can see it's new. Very pleasant. Sexia Physiotherapy, so the physiotherapy, and it goes on in other blocks. So we've got four blocks in total, or five, maybe five, five. One uh, interesting thing that happened to me yesterday was the uh, realization. I go to a cafe sometimes in the morning during the week for a coffee and a water and I've been chatting to an old gentleman there, he's 68 years old and uh, he always wears uh, Universitat Krajowa, the, the Krajowa football team um, insignia and training suits, uh, tra track suits and uh, I kind of semi-ironically didn't know his name. I called him Dom Football because he's always in the football strip. Well, yesterday I found out this guy who's been talking to me for three years is uh, Nikolai Negrila from uh, Giga uh, near, the, near the Danube. My wife's family originates in uh, Goicha, Goicha Mika, which is not too far away. And this guy, <laughs> he uh, he's a like a national hero in Krajowa and maybe in Romania. He played 28 times for the national team at right back. He scored the winning goal against Kaiserslautern, which got uh, Krajowa into the UEFA semi-cup final. Sadly, he was booked for a second time, so he didn't actually play in the semi-final. But the guy is a legend. He moved on to, uh, I'm going to say, uh, after his career in Kriver but he never mentioned any of this to me and uh, talked to me every day uh, I just saw him today what a nice guy and it just shows you, you never know people's history when you when you meet them so I've met a living legend of Romanian football 
and uh, he's also an honorary citizen of uh, Kriva. He was given his citizenship uh, by Anthony Solomon, who was mayor here. So, quite extraordinary. So, Dom Football, I salute you. <laughs> and I also salute Dom Poine, who delivers the bread. I, I'm very bad with names, so I tend to uh, use uh, Dom. And uh, there's a very nice guy who works for the Chifede, who stood for the council in uh, Kraiova. Um, didn't, I don't think he was elected, but uh, he's known as Dom Primar. Mr. Mayor, because uh, he'd make a very good mayor, I'm sure. All right, we'll just uh, wait here to cross. In fact, I should no, I shouldn't have to wait to cross. I'll cross <laughs> and almost get killed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have right of way on uh, zebra crossings, but I wasn't concentrating. Uh, right, where are we going? We're going down sort of. We're looking for a. There's a swimming pool complex here called Sanyaza. Ah, oh, Sanziana, sorry, Sanziana. I've just found it, that's good. I've been here once, about six years ago. Sanziana. Um, it's a bar, it's a swimming pool. It's very pleasant. It's closed, obviously, at the moment. There it is. Sanziana. Oh, or oh, is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. And, uh, we have several of these in Kriva for the summer. It gets very hot here in the summer. You're talking mid-30s uh, Celsius. And uh, this is for the public to come and have a swim, have a beer, relax, pretend they're at the uh, seaside when they're very far from the seaside. There's another one on the outskirts of town called Valencia, um, which um, is, is also very, very pleasant. And, uh, and another one which I think is closed now on the outskirts near the airport called Hanul Doktor. Uh, so we have these facilities for people to come and just relax in the summer when it gets too hot. And that's a great thing uh, that uh, exists in, uh, in Romania and specifically Cryova. Uh, Okay, let's uh, let's look at uh, things I, I well I talked to you about things I like, things I don't like about Romania. Oh my! I got told off by my wife. I don't know if I mentioned this the other day. She said you'll never be an Altanian because you don't like the Holy Trinity of uh, Salata de Vinete, Salata de Boeuf, and Zakuska. I don't. I don't like them. It's because, for me, it's more about texture than taste. Um, I'm sure they all taste fantastic. I do, bizarrely, like uh, fish eggs, ikri. I like those, but uh, the others, I can, I can live without them, to be honest. And I uh, wouldn't ever choose to, to order them, which is a source of horror to all of my Altanian friends, but I just have to live with that and agree to differ on our tastes. I think it's what you're brought up with. I can't really drink cold coffee, whereas Romanians seem to thrive on cold coffee. They'll buy a coffee, put it in their car, and drink it for the rest of the day. Well, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't do that really. That would be very, very difficult. Coffee has to be drunk when it's hot, and uh, that's another, another difference for me. You can see this area is built up apartment blocks, effectively. We're going around the outskirts of it. Um, I talked last time about inflation. Well, inflation is, is running officially at almost 16% now, so things have gone up hugely in price, and that's a big worry for a lot of people and uh, a source of concern for, for many. So. Uh, Let's hope the government uh, takes steps. They have taken steps to limit uh, increases in um, energy prices. So uh, I think they've been very reasonable and sensible about that. Let's hope that continues. You can be fined here if your number plate is illegible. So 
And if you can't read the number plate, you can get a fine. So you have to have your car washed, um, which is, is no bad thing, really. Um, and there is zero tolerance on alcohol. Um, in the UK, you can probably have a pint, a pint and a half of beer and drive safely within the limit. Here, it's zero tolerance. So you've got to be very careful, especially with some medication which may contain alcohol and uh, you, you've got to wait, you've got to be very careful not to contravene that law, otherwise you'll be banned from driving for a while, get some points, get a fine and have your license removed. So you've got to be you got to be careful here, which is uh, it's no bad thing. It's I think it's like the Australian system, which has zero tolerance for alcohol. Uh, I um, visited a dentist here last year, almost a little over a year ago. Um, I cracked a, a filling on. Um, it was Christmas Day in the UK and of course I couldn't get an appointment before I came back to uh, to uh, Romania so uh, I waited and came here went to see a very efficient um, dentist uh, and she put in a new filling, a replacement filling, a very nice white filling and offered to drill out my old amalgam fillings from uh, the UK because she said the mercury would kill me well I'm getting on a bit so I think something else would probably kill me before my feelings do so I declined her kind offer but I did ask her why why are you working here in Romania you could be in the UK making a lot more money and she said well in the UK I'd be allowed about 10 to 15 minutes for your appointment I was in her um, cabinet for about uh, one hour and she did a really thorough professional job so well done to her for staying in Romania to be professional hats off and people who come to the UK don't often find that uh, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence or that the <laughs> roads are paved with gold uh, they have a very limited um, time span for appointments etc we're coming down uh, in Paratul Trayan now. Turn the corner. I should have mentioned that uh, my uh, acquaintance uh, Nikolai Negila played with uh, the legend from uh, Krajova, Ilie Balac, who sadly died at a, 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 an unfortunately early age and is buried in Sinaiaska Cemetery near the, not too far from the entrance and people come and place flowers and sit there to uh, remember him. He was one of the uh, outstanding footballers of his generation and uh, I asked my friend uh, why, why didn't he, why didn't he move abroad and of course it was in the communist era where that just wasn't simply wasn't possible wasn't ah okay so over the road Liceo Voltaire which is the first time I've seen that very interesting um, I didn't know anything about the history of football in Romania. I mean, I'm an Ipswich Town supporter, so we're, we're going through a bit of a hard time. Although this season we may get back into the championship in the UK. But I was interested to learn that um, teams in Romania are effectively sponsored by the government or by various parts of the administration. So Stawa, uh, Bucharest, has links with the army. And um, because Ili Nastase, Nasty Nastase, um, was linked with this club as a tennis player. He has the rank of a general, I think, in the uh, in the Romanian army, which is, is you know, gives him a nice pension. Um, similarly, Dinamo, Dinamo Bucharest, uh, is uh, the Ministry of the Interior's uh, um, team. 
So many teams have a link. Um, Mediash, Gaz uh, is linked to the gas company Transgaz, which is, is based there. Um, Ployesht would be linked to an oil firm. So they, they're all linked to whichever industry or whichever administrative um, uh, region is, is administrative um, authority is uh, prevalent in that particular area. What well, a beautiful church over the road which we're going to cross and then we'll get to Strada Spagna and head back. So we've kind of done a done a square if you like. We'll head across as safely as we can. Not too bad. It's quite safe. It's good. While we're in uh, uh, Sinaya, I think two videos ago, I, I was really looking forward to having an Indian meal and uh, did so. But what a disappointment. Um, I think the, the abiding rule is don't assume that an Indian restaurant in Romania is going to give you the spices or the taste that you expect from Indian food. Um, it was truly disappointing. On the other hand, we have a very good uh, Chinese restaurant here in Kraiova, uh, which I'll name, Dong Fang. You can find it on Kalabukuresht, and it's, uh, it's well worth it. Oh, Famachia watch, Dr. Max. Mm. Very expensive. Beware. <laughs> but they're everywhere. They bought up a couple of chains, and uh, they're doing very well. This place is rather nice, Rib's House. I've had a meal here. Um, goes up two stories and it's uh, to be recommended. Um, we're on the 14th of November currently and we haven't put the heating on because it's still very mild, which is terrific uh, because heating prices have gone up here as they have all over Europe. Um, there are two types of heating in Romania. Uh, you can have your own central thermic in your in your apartment, so you control when it goes on, when it goes off, or you can be connected centrally, and then you have no control. Um, the m m municipality decides when the heating goes on and when the heating goes off. So they decide when it's cold enough to put it on, and I think they've probably done that already and they decide when it goes off. Um, it's more expensive to do it that way. Obviously it's easier if you're in control yourself. You just disconnect from the central um, system and put in your own pipes, your own system, and then connect up to your own boiler. So that's what we've got, and I think it will. Uh, it's not, not been too expensive because we haven't uh, we haven't put it on yet. Uh, okay, final point is uh, um, what people call each other here. You you can be called Donul. Uh, Nea is slightly more familiar for older older gentlemen, gentlemen of a certain age. Doctor, Tom Doctor, um, mark of respect, and uh, affection. So, we're heading back now towards Cala Bucuresht, up by Strada Spagna. This takes us back past the uh, funeral parlor we saw the other day in the Silos video. And then I'll head back up uh, Petres Birescu, back home. So thank you for accompanying me on my tour of uh, Sarar. I think it's a nice area, very pleasant, lots of nice shops, good restaurants. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.